What's going on guys? I am the Walrus Jedi and welcome to another video. In today's video I will be doing a little bit of a flip through through the Star Wars The New Essential Guide to Vehicles and Vessels updated for the Phantom Menace Attack of the Clones and the New Jedi Order. Text by W. Hayden Blackman and all new full color illustrations by Ian Fullwood. So if you like these uh, source book kind of videos where I kind of just flip through them and just look at all the cool stuff, then uh, please consider liking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell for more. And uh, yeah, so without further ado, let's just get right to the book. All right, so the book starts with an introduction. And this basically just kind of goes over what this book is going to kind of cover. So it gives off like some of the stats for the ships. Um, and it also says when the book itself, as if it was an in-universe book, it's written at the time of the Yusan Vong invasion. So, and then it goes to the layperson's guide to technology. And this covers vehicle classes, engine technologies, weapon technologies, and other equipment technologies. And then it goes on to the major manufacturers for all the uh, ships. You know, there's there's tons, but a few uh, important ones are Bactoid Armor Workshop. They did some of the, like, separatist vehicles. You have the Carillion Engineer Corps, you know, they're pretty famous. The Millennium Falcon and some others. Kuat Drive Yards, they're, uh, the uh, Imperial Star Destroyer is their handiwork. And the Mon Calamari, obviously all the Mon Calamari ships, you know, the basically the bulk of the Rebellion um, flotilla, you know. So most, most of those ships you see when you see the Rebel fleet, most of those are... Mon Calamari cruisers. They're the ones that are uh, curved. They're, they've got a lot of spheres and uh, circular. They're very, you know, organic in shape. They're not sharp and angular. They're, they're the opposite of the Star Destroyer. Um, and, you know, there's tons of others, but, you know, th those are kind of the important ones. And then it moves on to where it actually goes over the vehicles. And, you know, there's tons and tons of vehicles through here, but, you know, you got, like, the at, -AT. the Corporate Alliance tank droid, the Star Destroyer, Super Star Destroyer, the Eclipse, which is Palpatine's ship, Yeah, then you have the IG-2000, which is IG-88's ship. Uh, you have Jabba's cell barge. The Jedi Starfighter, the Delta-7 Aether Sprite. You know, the ones that are basically shaped like an arrowhead. Then you have Luke's land speeder, you know. And then you have the Millennium Falcon, uh, you know, on Solo's ship, you know, it's a modified YT-1300, so that's cool. Pod racer stuff, loads of different pod racers. They even have a fun little uh, picture of all of the pod racers from the Phantom Menace that have the kind of their silhouette, that's cool. Then you have the Republic gunship, you know, the, the main vehicle that transports the clones to the battlefield. Then you have Slave One, Boba Fett's ship, and Jango Fett's ship. Then you have the uh, X-Wing, you know, the, the main starfighter of the Rebel Alliance. And then... You get to some of these weird ships, you know, that are made by the Yusan Vong. Very organic looking, very almost like creatures. Um, they're cool. They're they're actually really cool to look at. They're just like, wow, that's a spaceship. And then after all the vehicle stuff, you get into the appendices, which is just basically it goes over some battles throughout uh, the 
the recent past in Star Wars. So the first one is the Battle of Naboo, and it goes over, you know, it basically summarizes the battle, and then it has a, a picture of kind of the layout, you know, the droid army and the, and the Gungans, pretty cool. And then it goes to the Battle of Geonosis, same thing. It, it, it summarizes basically the battle and shows the troop layout, uh, Battle of Yavin, Battle of Hoth, Battle of Endor, kind of shows all the the layout of everything. So it's 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 really cool, really cool nerdy stuff. And then after those battles, it has some other ships, basically ships that um, they're more minor, they're not as important, you know, but still a lot of cool, interesting ships. And then at the very end, you have a hyperdrive classification. So it just shows all the ships and then what their hyperdrive is capable of. And an interesting thing that you learn in this book is that basically the better the hyperdrive, it's closer to zero. So a class one is pretty good, but a class 0.5, which is the Millennium Falcon, is even better. And the fastest ship, at least in this book, is... The Jabitha, which is a, uh, a ship that Obi-Wan and Anakin made when they went to Zenoma Sakat. That's basically a ship that you... It's it's like an organic mixed with mechanical... It's kind of hard to explain. Um, yeah, that but that's a uh, point four, class point four. So it's, it's just a little bit better than the Millennium Falcon. So that's interesting. All right, that is... Uh, that is it about this book, you know, so a very interesting, uh, flip through, through this, uh, this book, learn lots of stuff. Yeah. Everything you would want to know about not every single vehicle. Cause obviously this book came out before revenge of the Sith came out, unfortunately, cause we could have all sorts of cool stuff with Mustafar. So that's a shame about these books is that obviously, that they're out of date and unfortunately they'll never get a, a new guide because this is a, a legends thing and if they did one now it would be chuck full of canon stuff so I it wouldn't be as good so that's a shame but it's still really cool and really fun to flip through all these books let me know in the comment section below what you thought of the new essential guide to vehicles and vessels and uh yeah which book would you like me to do next? Well, you, you could check the playlist, but yeah, I, I have a few that I haven't done yet, and I, I do have a few that I need to buy, so yeah. Let me know what, what, would, what the next one you'd like, if you enjoy it in the comments down below. And on the screen now, you can check out some of the, my other videos on these um, essential guides. And uh, yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed, and until next time, thanks for watching.